Matt Makoviak is a Republican strategist. Chris Kofinas is a Democratic strategist. Matt, did the governor handle Letterman's apology the right way? I think so. I think that she was obviously shocked and appalled by the, the language. And I think this whole situation uh, could have been taken care of very easily if David Letterman had called Governor Palin after the show and the joke happened initially and apologized to her privately. Remember, remember she was doing a tour of the lower 48. She was in New York and Texas signing a pipeline deal. She, uh, you know, she, she, he easily could. She was, she was, you know, in place to do a large media tour on some on some pipeline uh, issues, not on on these issues. So if you had, had apologized to her privately, personally, right away, the, this entire uh, uh, controversy might have might have never happened. Uh, Chris, let me play more of what Letterman said last night before I get your reaction. I was watching the. Uh... Uh, Jim Lehrer, News Hour, and this uh, commentator, the uh, columnist uh, Mark Shields, is talking about how I had made this indefensible joke about the 14-year-old girl, and I thought, oh boy, uh, now I'm beginning to understand what the problem is here. It's the perception rather than the intent. It doesn't make any difference what my intent was. It's the perception. Fairly rare, I would say, for a comedian to apologize for a joke. I, I do you think that it's the media that's driving the storyline? I mean, I, I think that's part of it. I mean, listen, it was a, it was a pretty tasteless joke. I think apologizing was the the smart thing to do. What I cannot understand, you know, with respect to Governor Palin, you, you know, David Letterman is a comedian. He made a really bad joke. He should have apologized. But you're the governor of a state. You know, engaging, you know, David Letterman on this doesn't really help your stature. It doesn't well, help your you political think that? future. Look how much we've been talking about Sarah Palin this past week. Well, you know what? Good press does not, you know, bad press does not necessarily become good press, especially if you. You have long-term political ambitions. This is not the type of press that I think, at least if I was advising her, I would I would want. But it seems, for whatever reason, you know, Governor Palin seems to attract this type of media attention. And in this case, it may have been unintended, but she, you know, she helped fuel it. I think the smart thing would have been to say, put out a statement. This was a tasteless joke. We hope he apologizes and let it go. Uh, you know, it's interesting, Matt. I asked the question last week about whether this could be a platform for Sarah Palin because there are a lot of uh, people on a national stage who, if they disagree with women, they put them automatically into one of two categories. Either they are bimbos or, or they're sluts. Uh, and, I'm, and I was asking whether Sarah Palin could get some real traction in a way that truly changes the discourse in our nation. What do you think? Well, look, I think, uh, you know, Letterman actually made two objectionable statements uh, about uh, Sarah Palin that night, uh, saying that she would look like a slutty yeah, but it's not, flight but attendant. My, but my point is, it's not just, he was trying to make a joke. There are people every day who are not making jokes. They do it as with an intent to slur the women they are talking about. I'm asking whether Sarah Palin has an opportunity to change that. To change whether people use that type of language privately, I, I think. No, I, no, no, no. I'm talking about on a public stage. Oh, and, sure. And I'm talking about a lot of well-known conservatives who do it. Well, I don't know that it's a conservative or, or liberal uh, think and test. I think you may be reading too much into this. Um, I do think there's there's a coarsening of our language and our culture that's unhealthy. But look, let's let's get back to the to the reality of this. Governor Palin did not did not cause the situation. David Letterman did. No, no. no. I'm I, asking I, I whether Sarah Palin, Matt, has an opportunity it, to make this an issue, to drive this. If this is really her concern, to drive this level of discussion to a, a to a civil discourse on respecting women in our country. I, I see what you're saying, yes. I think that, look, if she wanted to be a culture warrior, this is an opportunity for her on this issue because it has become a national controversy. I do think that it's going to die down today after uh, Letterman's sincere apology, but if she wants to, she, she is a victim in this situation and her family is. I think she's handled it mostly pretty well. She wasn't planning on doing media on this issue. She yeah. was doing media on her national tour of the lower 48, so it was a different, it was a different situation. Matt but, uh, Matt, I, Matt, Chris, I'm going to leave the conversation there, and I do appreciate the, that both of you participated. Thanks. Thank you.